Hey, how's it going? Today I'm gonna to go over how to draw a Christmas stocking. It's gonna be super easy and super simple. So if you're a beginner at drawing, you're a beginner at art, you will be able to do this all the way through. Really simple stuff. I'm gonna be using this. This is a Crayola marker. And I'm gonna be using uh, this paper right here. This is regular printing paper. So let's get started. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm going to kind of imagine this triangle in my mind just triangle and I'm going to make it kind of I'm gonna draw that triangle bumpy and what that's gonna uh, essentially do is gonna indicate the fuzziness of kind of the top edge of that sock So you have this kind of almost like a, it's like a square cloud almost. I'm, I'm just kind of thinking of it in, you know, different ways to make it easy for, to connect to your mind. Uh, I think it's, I think finding uh, similar shapes and kind of saying that as a metaphor really, really helps me learn. So just to kind of help out. Uh, one thing I want to tell you is don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you like learning a little bit about, a little tiny bit about art every day, um, please consider subscribing. Uh, there is going to be three beginner lessons every single uh, weekday. So that's 15 new videos every single week. I, I update a lot. I will file everything into playlists. So they should be easy to find if you go into the playlist section. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's completely free. There's no downside to it. Um, you'll probably get notifications for like every, I don't know, like maybe 25% of the videos. Um, and if you find my stuff worth your time, please uh, consider that. All right, let's go down here to the front. And I'm gonna pull a straight line here. The reason I wanna do a straight line, even though when you do see those stockings, those Christmas stockings, they tend to be fuzzy all over. Um, I wanna cause a, I wanna have a contrast. I want a fuzziness over here and more of a straight line here. And that contrast just makes it look better. Pulling out at an angle. curve at the edge of the foot. Pull down. And I'm going to connect this line here. So always consider uh, the control that you have in your hand. So try not to draw like this, uh, like you, you, you know, you anchor your hand, you anchor it on the um, the ball of the palm. Try not to do that. Try to like move it freely around the shoulder elbow area. So like right now to throw this line in there, I'm gonna have to do that. Or you can, you know, do it here and then move it along. But you are moving freely through the paper. It's it's very different than when you're writing. When you're writing, it's, it's more like this. Um, and the last thing for the most part is I'm gonna draw the square at the edge here, and I'm going to draw a circle there. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to draw, like see this same line right here, the fuzziness? I'm gonna do the exact same line. I'm almost gonna, I'm almost gonna mirror that there. And the reason I wanna do that is I wanna give it the illusion of form like something's going on. And I kind of want to do that, not everywhere, but you know, some parts yes, some parts no. I'm gonna throw a line here, up. Throw a line under here. And I'm gonna throw a thicker line around the entire contour because I wanna contain the shapes within it. 
uh, and I think it just kind of organizes the shapes way better. So while I'm thickening the line, just around the outer contour, while I'm doing that, I'll talk to you a little bit about just the channel and how it's going. Uh, the channel's great. If you really uh, enjoy this stuff, if you think, uh, you know, you like my stuff here, please consider helping the channel out. Um, what can you do to, to, to help the channel out? Well, the easiest, the best thing you can do is to share a video. Um, it, it's similar to like, I don't know if you consider it like when you tip a waiter, that kind of thing, like for their service is similar to that. But you know, with a waiter that wouldn't, that like involves money, like actual money. But right here, it's just your time, I guess. I think it takes like a minute, I guess, to share. I'm not sure, or a few seconds. I'm not, I'm not really sure how long it takes to share. Um, but I think they have a share button on the bottom of this. When you share it, I feel this huge boost of positive energy on the channel. It just really puts out a good vibe. And I start seeing all these people in the comments, like all these new people commenting. And the thing about this channel is that, and I've said this before, it's, uh, you know, it can be pretty hard. Uh, the drawing part of it is the funnest thing ever for me. This drawing part, this teaching part is immen immensely fun. Immensely. Uh, the hard part is the editing. <laughs> so when I have to edit the video, when I take it here, and that part of it is pretty dicey. That, that, that part is uh, tiring. Um, I feel exhausted. Uh, I have to write the paragraphs. I have to write, write all the des descriptions. Um, you know, check out the description if you do have time. There's a free ebook in there for you if you find it, because um, there's a bunch of stuff in there. But uh, that that's the hard part. And and kind of when people talk to me and say hi, or, or you know, talk to me about my day, or, or or just just the fact that there's people on here, it just makes me feel really good, and it makes it really worth it for me. And so I don't know. So so it, when you share that, it does kind of ricochet down into that. So that's why I always say the best thing you could ever do for this channel would be sharing a video, either on Facebook, on Twitter, on Reddit, on what else is there on that choice thing? Um, uh, I don't think Tumblr's on there. Uh, Reddit, what's another one? What else can people share stuff on? Well, anyways, whatever is, whatever's on that tab there. And it just helps. It's a ricochet. It's a, it's a, it, it trickles down and, and it really, really just lends to it. this amazing time. And like I said, it just makes, it cheers me up. Um, you could also do this thing at the end of the sock. Like some of them have designs at the end of it. Cause it's right here what I was trying to do. And I'll draw this right here. See, drawing little lines. I was drawing the seam of the sock. And this is more like the color that I put there across. So you could even do multiple color. Like it's um like a candy cane. Anyways, that's it. Thank you so much. I appreciate you watching. If you did get to this part of the video, please do me a huge favor and say hi so that I know you got to this point of the video. And that means you saw the whole thing. Um, other than that, this has been Easy Pictures to Draw, and I'll see you next time.